Welcome everyone. We are doing a permadeath run on the cleric. I'm not gonna pretend this is my first recording. This is actually the second try. As you can see, we're almost level two, but I don't think it will matter much. We have advanced healer, judgment, and the spell memory. And the spells are lesser heal, bless, divine strike, protection, and holy strike. With those, we're gonna jump right into our uh, first round here. Hopefully, we make it out alive. Now we have nothing. Except the very grey gear we spawn with. Uh, we have... Uh, I took advanced healer because I just want to run around healthy. And with that, I hope to keep my health up all the time. That's basically my whole reason. 50, 46, that's quite nice. 31, that's also not that bad. Even missing the head there. And it's quite easy to hit the head. With the maze. Of course we are looking for some upgrades. Those would be very nice. Alright, we actually load in. I'm gonna head towards the shelf area. And I'm gonna aggro this guy. Right, there's a rogue over there. Nobody spawned down there. Now I'm not gonna run into the rogue. I mean, we can take the helmet. Right, so nobody spawned here. afraid that the rogue will jump me. He would have to sneak past the mobs that are guarding this area. An archer and a boloslinger. We should be able to hear him. That is a really big upgrade to our damage. We're gonna take that. So far, so good. As soon as I have this um, Brian, I feel a little bit safer against uh, the rogue. Alright, I'm hiding behind the mage. And then I'm smacking this guy. Two hits is enough. That's awesome. That means we can already start looting here. Here's somebody running to our left. Sometimes these jewels are really hard to grab. Always look inside here. I found some rings before in there. We can equip those. This will make us a little bit more tanky. I'm surprised that the rogue wasn't looking to fight us. Somebody is shattering some vases. It is the rogue. Alright, I'm gonna open this door, see if we can squeeze ourselves through the middle. Somebody has already resurrected all the skeletons.
I'm gonna go through here. And I'm gonna flank around. Now we will take a little bit of damage. But that's alright. The problem is I think we're gonna aggro the centipede. Ah, uh, that might be a problem. Let's hope that... Uh, We find a first solution for that. Alright. This guy has a hammer. We really need to avoid his hits. <laughs> he jumped right at the... At the impact time. Looked funny. Right, uh, that's it. We have to get moving. We didn't have a lot. Now the wormhole is really slow. So of course... You don't want to get baited into swinging. I'm gonna heal here. I'm not gonna take a risk running around Half-Life. So far, so good. Let's buff up here. I'm gonna actually go upstairs. It's just a way better position to be in. Alright, there's goblins here. We want to fight them. Oh my god. We aggroed everything. got hit in the hand. It's not good. I'm gonna buff up right now. Let's not take any risks if somebody jumps me. Now thank god you can just... kill these guys. I'm gonna take this actually. It only loses free armor, but it is a lot faster. That is an upgrade. I'm taking that. That is another weapon, but it deals significantly less damage. Now I've noticed that opening stuff is a lot quicker than before on the cleric. I've not played Cleric a lot, just maybe five games or something. But you still r notice the difference. I'm gonna buff up before I go through the door. Just to be safe. Ooh. There is a ranger over there. He's going for the secret escape. Somebody might have killed to ki kill somebody. I'm gonna buff myself up. Ooh, there he is. Right, we are hitting him. Right, we are going to be slow against this guy. Is healing. Oh, he ran into the trap. What an idiot. We hit him with our spell as well. Really nice. Now let's not get murdered here. But we are going to loot this guy.
Alright, he really only had a lot of arrows. Alright, we can buff up one more time. Ooh, there is a portal. We're gonna open this up. And then we're gonna leave. We have a lot of loot. It was a very successful run. So yeah, let's just call it here. Very, very successful so far. I'm kind of surprised that we made it out. Um, because with Cleric, my luck seems to be very, very bad. Alright, we are level 3. Let's start. Let's uh, sell all the collectibles here. Of course, we will try to get as much upgrades as possible. As this is a primitive run. 144. Plus 10. We have some extra consumables. So let's take a look here. 37. We have a better one already. So let's try and upgrade our armor. Buff duration bonus is actually quite good. <clears throat> I don't want to lose the agility actually. I think I'm going for the Templar armor. And then I'm... Oh, I wanted to buy the agility. Oh, there they are. I'm going to equip the agility uh, gloves. So that this way we are quite fast for a cleric. Is there a magic staff upgrade? 6 to 5. I don't think that's worth it. But magic healing. Oh my god. God, we're gonna take that. Let's sell this off. Now with the rest of the gold, we can try and gamble on the fox pendant. That means we would be even faster. Or a ring. Let's actually get the ring of quickness here. Plus one true physical and one agility. I take that. We are left with 19. That is not a lot. I'm gonna buy one bandage, one potion, and that's gonna be it. With this, we jump right into our next round. I have to say, we look quite amazing. The heal beam, heal beam Joe arc will be our success. I can feel it. This will be the at least level eight run. I can feel it. It's tingling. We will do it. Now, this spellbook is really good. Plus two magical healing. That was the best find we could ever hope for. Now, we have advanced healer and the two magic healing, so we, we should heal for a ton. That being said, we still need to uh, be careful. Let's not waste our health. Now, the question is, where do we clear... I think we want to clear towards this direction of the map. The circle is already heading that direction. Somebody could have spawned here, so we need to be careful. I'm going to clear my way through here. One down. Very good drops. Potion of healing. A bandage. Love to see that. Ooh, a clarity potion. It's also very good. Alright, I hear a warlock to the left of us. Oh, there is a player there. It is a rogue. With this... I think we're a little bit better off. We are fast enough already. I'm gonna start buffing up. Now we can even keep the spellbook in hand for now. 
He's right in front of me. Ooh. What? He was... Must have been very low. Must have been very low. Alright. Thank God we... We managed to beat that guy. Probably a new player. So I don't feel too... Uh, good about that. But uh, he must have been very low from the fight. Now, I'm interested in this back room here. So we will try and clear it out. There's a healing shrine. First we want to aggro this beetle for the archer. Oh my god. You don't want to aggro both of them. Oh my god, I tried to juke to the left. I realized... Too late that I'm running into the wall. Alright, beetle down. Let's clear the archer here. If you're very close, he cannot hit you. So we're gonna use that to our advantage here. Let's quickly cl uh, clear the top floor here. Let's just circle around these guys. One more hit. The beetle yeeted itself off the cliff. What a blue wizard hat. Plus one strength. That's nice. We're gonna use the shrine now. I'm gonna leave the... The goblins down below. They are a useful distraction. Should somebody decide to rush into this room. Magical interaction speed. <laughs> now that's not what you want to see. Wizard shoes. Very basic stuff. Let's break these open. Ooh. Not a healing potion. I really like that straw hat. Both of these suck. Loose trousers. We are already into the next circle. So that means we have a very good position. Downstairs we have our goblins. Which should protect us. Um, up here we have everything cleared. We have a shrine. A health shrine. Just in case we need that. No upgrades on the gloves. I like my position. We have Lightfoot Boots, 5'7, five, 5'7. Seven, five, seven. Right, so far so good. Let's take a look inside this area here. Oh. I'm gonna buff up. We are fully buffed up. People are fighting here. Alright. Warlock has cut off my route here. I'm gonna refresh the buffs. And take a look inside here. Somebody's fighting to the right here. I think I should refresh my buffs here. Alright, that guy... ...left the dungeon. Let's fight this guy. He's running for it. He doesn't want to fight. You kind of understand. We had the advantage, we were fully buffed. 
All right. Um, people are really giving their best avoiding me right now. So I'm just gonna go next. We take this as a win. Two successful extractions. And let's just see. Oh my god. I kind of understand. He was very low. Um, so he doesn't want to fight, of course. Alright. Uh, two nice runs. We are level 3. Let's quickly sell off our collectibles here. And I'm also going to sell the wizard hat. Only 5 gold. That's insane. Let's sell the boots as well. We already have boots that are exactly the same. How much gold do we have? 58. So that's not a lot. Alright guys. Next time we are going to get some upgrades. And hopefully we reach level... At least level 8. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. And watch Hillbeam Joe beat our record. Have a nice day. And thank you guys for watching.